Okay, so we're back again. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll just shift a new to make a new uh, track here. So there's just the one row uh, of the track. So we'll go to the clip. <coughs> this is a, a standard new synth. Um, and we're going to change this uh, to use your sample if I get the right way to do it. Uh, so I'll go to OSC1. I can do these the shortcuts printed out on the keyboard or you can just click on select and then go to OSC1 and drill into the menus using the pressing on top uh, so I'll go to type uh, at the moment it's saw that's sample uh, and then what we need to do is choose the waveform so then we go we're going back to types of speed, transpose, start and end of the sample, record if you want to record it in, or use a file. So we'll use a file. Um, spoon Neutron B3, I think this is the um, the one you wanted me to use, or one of the ones you wanted me to use, that I loaded in from the uh, file you left on Facebook. So that's it there. Uh, one thing is, um, you used um, 16 bit file, and I'm not sure if that's the best resolution for the deluge. I think it's either 24 bit or 32 bit. I can't remember whichever. Anyway, let's have a look at this sample you've uh, given me uh, Shift Waveform. So this is the waveform totally zoomed out. Um, we can zoom right in, even to the, I don't know if you can see that, the actual wave waveform. Um, let's put it a bit brighter perhaps. Um, so yeah, you can get really close in on the waveform. Um, now this waveform, you said you put loop points and that's fair enough, but uh, the Delish has only picked up one of the loop, the loop points. So if I press to play through, see the the white stripe there that's playing through the sample and in theory it should get to that part and then the next bit and then loop through until I let go but it's not doing it yeah it goes right to the end unless that's how you wanted it I don't know <laughs> sorry so you have put it in uh, it's just that I can't see it because perhaps I'm not zoomed in enough Unless it's set right at the end. That must be set right at the end. So, there's your sample. Let's zoom out a bit. Right, so what I wanted to do is just move these loop points. Perhaps, um, sorry. I, press, I need to make the other loop points separate from this. So there we go. Uh, so now this bit will loop, rather than looping at the end bit. keep looping there uh, or we could move it perhaps to there and move that to there let's dial in a bit closer see what's happening with the waveform is there anything exciting going on there not really anyway that doesn't matter so what do we have here Put it onto keyboard, so the, um, the the sample's now in there, uh, and we'll have a look at uh, just take off resonance and put that totally clean open filter. Um, that's uh, F three, go on to C C three. Lower. And let's just check. I'm just going to check now. OSC2. Right, let's just check that off. I didn't do a, a new synth, did I? 
No. So this will be using the original uh, synth. Sorry, that wasn't your sample. Uh, or totally playing. Um, so it sounds like there's some other bits and pieces going on. Let's get those off so it doesn't confuse me. Uh, within the, <coughs> excuse me, the voice. Uh, so there's the sample. That's playing. Go to uh, mod effects. No, the effects are off. Uh, LFO. Take that off. So it sounds like something going on in the background there. There's a little bit of release on there. Uh, reverb. Something else is on there. Um, what else could there be on there? Transpose is zero. Type sample. Head back. Right, so that was a square wave originally. Because you, you can have at the same time the sample and a waveform playing. Um, Loop mode for the sample. Pitch and speed are linked, which is great. Sync interpolation. So anyway, so as far as playing the sample goes uh, on a, a keyboard, there's a C6. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, unless it's because the loop points on the sample are um, at a, an out of phase point. So let's have a look at that. So if I maybe you set that and I've messed it up by moving the, <laughs> which is quite possible. Um, right, so let's zoom right in. Let's see if we can alter what's going on. Scale it. So, yeah, dependent upon whereabouts the loop point is, will depend on whether you get that click or not, and you can just alter that. So, uh, let's zoom out a little bit, put those points um, a bit closer together just so it's easy to get to them see them so we've got not sure why it's going in the background um, So that's up the keyboard. Um, there's C7. I'll put one on there. Now, I think F10's the highest it'll go, doing it that way. Uh, but we can shift, um, let's just see if we can transpose here, so we've got, so that's about, that's about the highest there. So that's the highest it'll go there. Uh, let's have a look at 
uh, changing this back to yeah so that's from G10 I can still hear that in my headphones. Very, very low. So that, that's there. But I think you'd have to have really uh, responsive headphones to hear it. You're not going to hear that on the phone. But I can, I can hear that's definitely there. Uh, I wonder if we can boost it because you can change like your bass and treble settings let's put that right up so yes yeah, there now so i don't know if, again if you can hear that this will be overdriven a bit so that's a c2 let's drop the bass back down to basically that is um on your um eq it's an eq so it's boosted the bass up a bit there so and again with that we can Uh, right, anyway, uh, let's go back up to um, Did we transpose a lot? No, that's done there, isn't it? So the Oops, sorry, that's me. I had the volume up high I'm going faffing about there, aren't I? Sorry So on the keyboard thing again, uh, again this is just that, that sample playing. Um, that's weird. Um, so, so I don't know um, what other um, things I can show you in regard to uh, just playing the sample through like that. Um, we can... Um Let's see if it makes any difference. If I reload uh, that sample um, without altering that loop point, and just use the loop point that you used, maybe uh, sample file. Right, so if we go to waveform view. Zoom right out, so that's how it came in originally. That's how you set it rather than me messing about with it. And that's the sample just played, just played through. We can also attack, I suppose.
式。Anyway, so um, I'll just think about things then. So if we just what's that going on there? Just take that off. Take the scale off. wonder um let me um back or c2 type sample uh put that file in same one so now uh, we've got let's get back up to the original scale off right so there we go so that's at the moment that's just on the first operator level 50 second operator uh, operator first oscillator is a level of 50 second oscillator is level of zero so we won't be able to hear anything i put the first sample in both that spoon uh, sample so let's turn up the level of the second operator sound card anyway so now let's alter the second oscillator transpose it so same sample in oscillator one and oscillator two and what we're going to do is transpose in oscillator two the same sample so now we've got the uh, oscillator 2, take the volume up to 50, uh, is now transposed three semitones. Press undo. I did, ah. <laughs> but it's not undone it. Right, great. Um, so, so then you can play that, I suppose. So that's just simple transposition. Um, I don't think we can do um, or sync with samples in at the moment, but maybe at some point. 
Um, uh, interpolations synced for both. Um, so if we go to pitch speed, we've got again sample one, sample two playing at the moment. So if that second sample, if I unlink, <coughs> make independent those, then I'll be able to change the speed of the second sample. I'm pressing, the, I'm pressing the audition keys. So if I go to speed now. to close the filter down a bit we could go to a high pass filter Thank you. 
Okay, so now we've altered. Level back up again. So this is just using the, that same sample again. We're just um, exploring a bit of what we can do with the sample itself. What does it sound like? A bit of reverb on. Right, I've changed the filter back. Uh, I've got another filter type. Change it back to low pass, I think. Increase resonance a bit. Uh, I could change. Um, you can have a 24 dB filter or your 12 dB filter, and the resonance affects that, it makes it a bit brighter sometimes with using a 12. Change it to phaser. Now, could we get LFO one to modulate the rate? one is modulating the rate um, parameter. Uh, could we get LFO2 to modulate the depth parameter? the rate of the one. And you can change those the the shape square wave uh, triangle uh, no. reverb um, oh. I could use um, I wonder on resonance if we could use a random amount of resonance and maybe on the frequency of the filter 
Use a random amount of the frequency. There we go. So let's go to OSC1, the first sample. So this is just the filter that and all the other random stuff that's going on, altering that particular um, second sample loaded in on this particular synth. Now, there's also uh, where my head's going is maybe because I haven't even looked at the ARP yet. If we can incorporate the ARP into this, I don't know. Let's. So we can do. I also wondered if um, we could use the other sample that you sent. A bit mad in the background. Uh, the other sample. So I'll just turn this down an octave so it has uh, uh, and while that's going on, uh, we might as well just have a little explore of the uh, randomness feature. Don't have to play every note each time, do we? Uh, do that 75% of the time, do that 45%. 65%. And do that so five this time. Six percent of the time. So now it'll only play the notes randomly for uh, sometimes and not others. Sixty percent of the time, seventy-five percent of the time. So let's let's just have something like that going on. Let's change the attack. Because obviously now we've got a faster running going, so it's a bit more of a rhythm type thing going on. And if we did that down here too, like that, what would happen then? So really, I think we need uh, uh, another something going on, don't we? This is like a synth in there. So if I again edit this synth, we'll perhaps uh, new synth. That's it. And if we go. Um, shall we hold your other sample? I hope you're okay with that in the background doing that. Um, uh, no, I'll do it this way. Stand. Spoon looped. So that's the first sample, there's the other one. So we'll use that one. Okay. 
Sorry, my my bad. Um, I undid rather than. Uh, let's go back to sample. Files. So now look at the waveform, and there it is. That's the one you sent me. Um, so let's just use that as it is. That's just showing. Yep. So where are we now? C1. sample play uh, increase the level down so maybe I've done something weird there. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe check that off. Bring that back up. <laughs> So you can play your sample, the other one as well, on this, um, and we can slow it right down. 
Does that sound a bit reggae to you? I don't know. It just sounds reggae. I don't understand why it's not playing that there. So that's now running in the background. This more uh, sci fi. <laughs> it's supposed to stuff in the background. So too regular isn't it so what we need to do is take off some of that regularity regularity down I did a bit of uh, percentage play and this one perhaps we need to um make the frequency regulation a bit more Track. 
chains, oscillator, type. second oscillator that's playing at the moment. Change. Um, that second oscillator type. So so we'll have sign. change the sync so the um, the LFO will sync to the pattern or not uh, change it to saw and we need to set the amount of reverb Distorting. Go back to here and we'll see what we can do with. Uh, I still don't understand side chaining yet, but we'll try. So I'll just to change, switch the ARP on and change it to a random mode. Change the gate length for the arc, so you've just got that. So we can change it longer. Reverse the 
sample. Unlink speed and pitch. be a bit more uh, sci-fi. It's a very long video this, so I do apologise. <laughs> but really messing this up but this is what I do to try and find the sound so I'm no better on a sorry, shouted. I'm no better on a keyboard, it just anyway. 
Anyway, I like that. I like that. I do. I mean, I could put the harp on here.
we go. Uh, just over an hour. Quite a long one. I uh, hope you, you've heard a bit more about, a little bit about FM, but certainly about your samples. Uh, <laughs> till the next time. Bye.